use your hip roux in the third carrying style. So grab your hip roux. When you get it in the post, it will be in this really nifty drawstring bag. They, um, I designed them myself and um, partnered with a really amazing company based in KZM called Ooze Willow Bags. You can check them out. I'll put a link down below. So you just open up your bag like this, take your carrier out. When you get your carrier, you just simply fold it out like this. You'll see it has two different sections. You're going to unbuckle the back strap, loosen the velcro, and just simply put it to your back. Take either side, suck in your tummy. You need to get quite a tight feel, especially if your baby is heavy. If your baby is lighter, you can rear it a little bit loose. Then you're just going to check that all your buckles and straps are loosened on either side. So loosen your two back straps like this. You simply click them out. And you're also going to have to check that your baby's waist straps are loose. Remember, it's not a belt for your baby, so it doesn't need to be completely tightly around their waist. It is just a safety precaution so that your baby can't fall out should you stumble and fall while carrying them they can't fall out on either side so this please don't tighten it too tightly because you will start ruining the elastic on either side and fraying the material okay so you just want to loosen that on either side then you're going to take your baby and you're just going to support their head and slide in their legs on either side like this them in a seated position then you're simply going to take your full carrier like this and put it over your head and then just reach on either side and buckle the buckles in place so on my right hand side I'm buckling the buckle in place and then I reach over on this side and I'm going to buckle the lid once I've done that, very simply, I'm just going to see that my baby is nicely adjusted and is in the correct M shape position, so their bottom's not too back. And then I'm going to simply take my thumbs on either side and pull the waist strap into place. And there you have it. Position number three is done. We're ready to go for a walk. So now we're back from our walk and my baby is fast asleep nicely supported by the curvature of the carrier and I want to put them down but I'm not sure really how to do that and especially if I'm going to loosen the velcro if they're really niggly and sensitive to noise it might wake them up so all you're going to do really in this case is you're going to unzip the bottom piece of your carrier like this and then you're going to reach on the inside and just loosen the two hooks Check that out in my full instructional video on how to put your carrier together. Now my baby is completely detached from the hip support and then I'm simply going to take them over to their bed, to their cot, wherever I'm going to lay them down and I'm going to gently lay them down at the same time, loosen the back buckles like this, flip it over my head and as you can see my baby is laying down and I haven't woken them yet. Then I'm just gently going to loosen the waist straps and then I can simply lift my baby out away from the carrier and hopefully, fingers crossed, they are still fast asleep.